You're looking at Moanalua, Na Menehune, the marching band and color guard, and this is a big group, and they are always just a, they are a showstopper. They they have a good performance every single time. They bring a lot of people and fans. You see the, the blue and white up there, a big chunk of the people, sitting room, standing room only, whatever it were, would be, and you can see the, the look. <laughs> They're concentrating, just about ready to go. But uh, Scheherazade. Scheherazade, the princess that told the story of the 1001 Arabian Nights to save herself from being executed by the Sultan. And the music is based on Rimsy Korsakov's symphonic work, Scheherazade. We were talking about this as far as the, the theme and everything. I said, I guess it's not the Disney version exactly, <laughs> but it's still going to be a good storytelling. And looking at the faces here, and this is a neat thing about having these cameras we can get these close-ups the emotion that they're going through this is a culmination yeah. right here the anticipation and for them to get started there's only one way to do that and that's for their introduction by Darren Hernandez the Moanalua High School Menehune marching band and color guard under the direction of Mr. Eldon Seta and assistant directors Rona Barbosa Kevin Takesue Tadahiro Mea is led by drum majors Taiga Benito, Lopaka Martin, and Christian Jacob Laquesta. The Moanalo High School Menehune Marching Band and Color Guard fields 144 wins, 32 percussionists, and 28 color guard. <clears throat> Their show tonight is Scheherazade. Movement one. The story of Prince Kalendar, Edra Ha, flute soloist. Movement two, the story of the prince and the princess, Dane Pinnell, Edra Ha, Grace Kang, Carissa Miyamoto, Kobe Tour, Kiara Vissens, soloists. Movement three, festival at Baghdad, Edra Ha, Flute soloist. <clears throat> Drum major, is your band ready? <laughs> Moanalua High School, Menehune, marching band and color guard. You may take the field in class AAA competition.
<laughs> that was amazing. That is, wow is what, the only way to describe uh. it. And I mean, that is huge of what they just pulled off there. I, Scheherazade, the, the story of telling the stories to, to keep her alive and, and everything, cast a spell, so to speak, on the prince. I'll tell you what, they cast just, not uh, many Hune <laughs> did it big time and culminating with the, the lighted sashes toward the end of the program. Wasn't it beautiful? Just a delight for all of the senses. I mean, visually amazing, musically amazing. It was just such a powerful performance and they incorporated so many elements. Wherever you looked, there was something going on. And you were talking to me about it when you were doing your research on them. This may be their most difficult performance that they think they've ever done. Yes, according to Mr. Seta, he said, hands down, the most difficult performance in the history of their program. And you can just see why. It was just fantastic. The audience here was going crazy because music is really about how it makes you feel. And this crowd just totally appreciates. Yeah, they have a little swag as they're coming <laughs> off the field. It's going to stop, acknowledge the crowd there. And it is just a, this was a treat. It was a treat for all of us, yes, here, here at the stadium, too. We could feel the crowd going wild. I was getting goosebumps. How about you? That was definitely <laughs> something special in, in that performance. And let's go to some of the highlights right now and some of our favorite seconds. Their rifles and what they were doing aerially, that'll make Fred Murphy happy. Look at that. The height they got, all the catches. That is not easy. And those rifles, as Fred was saying, it's, they're, very, they're solid wood, so it hurts. <laughs> Yeah, to grab it or get hit by it, but they didn't drop anything as far as I could tell tonight. Musicality, spot on. As always. I mean, the solos were just fantastic. The tone, the intonation, the musicality. These students are really performing at such a high level. Everything complemented their theme, Scheherazade and, and the storytelling. Yeah, even their foot movements and uh, their precision in their marching, you can see that they are together. They are truly a band. And this is when the, the sashes were lit. It became something, when they were moving with the crossing light, it was unbelievable as, as far as the visual element. It was such a unique, special effect that really uh, translated really well to all of us here in the stadium. We have to find out how they came up with that idea. And uh, maybe the person to find out that answer, among other things, <laughs> is our VIP interview person, Fred. Let's see what's going on down there. Hey guys, I got a senior. He's a French horn player. This is Dane Pinnell. He's a member of the Moana Lua Marching Band and Color Guard. Hey Dane, first of all, we have Darren Hernandez. He is such a tremendous vocalist out there. I mean, up in the booth and he announces at the beginning of the show, drum major is your band ready. What does it feel like when you hear those words? Well, um, I, he has a very distinguished voice and it's very, I don't know, it's just like, it's very grand when he talks and I feel, I always know it's always the Milani competition where we perform when we hear his voice. And it's always a, it's always a cool feeling, you know, our last show, being able to hear his voice announce our show, yeah. Yeah. So you're a French horn player and everybody should see this mouthpiece. French horns have to play on a very, very tiny mouthpiece and they're doing this, you guys have this great feature right at the beginning of the show and there's a lot of backward marching. How difficult was that for your section? Um, very difficult. Uh, we, had, uh, we had to have a lot of sectionals to, you know, just get those notes together. It's, it took a very, very long time, you know, up until like our first competition to get it all together and really glued together, yeah. So right around your neck, there are four stars signifying the four years you're in, in, in the Moana Lua mar marching band. And then right around the front there, replacing what normally goes across your chest is this great new prop. So tell me a little bit about that prop this year. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> it was very exciting to find out we get to wear stuff and you know, our directors just brought it upon us one practice, and we were all kind of like, oh, what the heck is this for? <laughs> and then one practice, we got to try it on, and we found out it turns on. And, we, we, um, you know, we as a band, we don't get to see the effect that the, the light has on when, because it's always on video. So, I don't know, it's, we think it's still cool, but we just wish we could see it in person, yeah. So I did a little bit of talking right before we did this interview, and I found out that next year you're going off to college and you want to become an EMT, emergency medical technician. You're going to go save lives. So one of the things you have to know about all these students is they're not all becoming music majors. They're going to go out and they're going to do great things in this world. It was a pleasure to meet you today. Good luck to you in the future. Thank you very much. Back up to you guys in the booth. Tell you what, he was asking about seeing it. He can't quite see it live, but if he gets home by 10.30 tonight, <laughs> rebroadcast on OC16, then again tomorrow, Sunday, 11 a.m., the 20th Annual Milani High School Trojan Band Fest. That will be the only two 
encore showings of the band fest but uh amazing stuff there but we're not quite done yet the host school Minilani high school the trojan marching band they're going to be up next it may be exhibition as far as awards but it's going to be award winning when you see it <laughs> next on oc 16. Nice. 